In medical literature, PCL injuries have received far less exposure than ACL injuries because they occur less often and cause much less functional disability. The most common method of posterior cruciate ligament reconstruction utilizes a transtibial tunnel in which the graft must pass around an acute angle at the posterior aspect of the tibia. This acute angle is referred to as the killer curve. It has been shown that when the graft is tensioned at its tibial end, applied graft pretension decreases because of frictional loss at this corner. In the middle to late 1990s, Dr. John A. Bergfeld, director of the Cleveland Clinic Sports Health in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at the Cleveland Clinic Foundation in Ohio, learned of a new technique while in Europe as an American Orthopedic Society for Sports Medicine Traveling Fellow. Although we have not critically evaluated the results of the tibial inlay reconstruction in patients, in my experience of approximately 15 cases, I believe this procedure to be working well and to be working substantially better than the technique I used to use using a tibial tunnel. With the patient in the prone position, a posterior incision is made crossing the popliteal space at angles so as not to cause contracture. The previously prepared graft is now passed through the graft passer and pulled to the anterior aspect of the knee joint through the femoral drill hole. This diagram shows the area where the new posterior cruciate ligament will be placed and the bone that will be removed. With the graft bone plug fixed in its anatomic position on the tibia, the graft can be tensioned from the front on the femoral side. We are also exploring ways to minimize graft bending on the back of the tibia so that perhaps a similar type of reconstruction could be performed without a posterior approach to the knee. This remains experimental at this time. <laughs>